All right, y'all, in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to find the spine of a fishing rod blank. Um, this is just important for the overall uh, performance and handling of the rod, and it's real easy to do. Um, so really all you need is a china marker, or a wax marker, and some masking tape. Um, and I kind of drew a little, little rough drawing <laughs> of basically what I'm gonna be doing, just in case you can't see it on camera. Um, so basically, there's a line right here, it's a fishing rod blank. Um, we're gonna put in our hand on the top side, pushing down. We're gonna have a hand on the bottom, pushing up. And when it does that, you'll have your, it'll make your rod bend. And then you'll either do like a, a pinch and you kind of roll it with this hand or you can kind of roll it in your palm. I kind of roll it in my palm. I think that feels better. Um, but it's just where it works for you. You just get a feel for it. And then basically all you do is tear off your little piece of tape and wrap it around the rod. Um, and that just helps create a visual little flag. Um, just helps help you see it a little better. Um, so put the hand on top, pushing down. And then further down the blank, uh, closer to the tip, I'm gonna have my other hand on bottom pushing up, doing this kind of motion. So, pushing down on here, look at the flag, where y'all can see it. So I'm pushing down, going up with the other hand, and, well, I can already feel <laughs> that it's in spine right there. Um, but let's make it out. So, I'm turning it, bam. See how it just snapped in right there? So that's the spine. Now some have two, let me see what this one has two. There's a soft, and a strong. Okay, I felt a little, I felt weaker. So right there should be, and then the other one be the opposite. So that's the weak. And then, bam. So that's the strong spine right there. And then, because we put that flag on there, I know if it's facing this way, we're in spine. So all you'll do, check your china marker. And put you a mark. Now some people, or some videos will, Tell you just to put a little little mark, though you don't forget it. But I like to put a huge, <laughs> huge fat line uh, until my real seat is on, because I don't want it to get accidentally wiped off or something. And then you started putting your epoxy on, you got your real seat on, and then you look down and your spine line's gone. And yeah, so we, we just want to avoid that altogether. So. I put a fat line because there's a real slim chance that that whole thing is getting wiped off. Um, and then in the next video, I'll kind of go over if you have a casting rod or normal, <laughs> normal rod or real seat, my bad. Uh, if you're building a conventional, real seat will go on like this with the, I call it the trigger, trigger pointing up, same spot as spine. So let me get. Let me get a casting rod real quick. And this is the first one I ever built, so it's a little rough. But so on this one, trigger up, spines on this side. If you're doing a casting rod. Now, if you're doing a spinning rod, forgive me, I don't like spinning rods, so this is a real rough, dusty one. Um, if you're doing a spinning rod, when you put the real seat on, you know, because it's held upside down, the spine's actually on this side. Should be holding it like this. So, you just got to be mindful. That's a really only tricky thing with that. You just got to determine if you're doing a casting or spinning. And once you decide that, well, that's it. But the spine is a spine, regardless of what you end up doing. There's not, a, there's not like different rod blanks for... Um, casting or spinning. So that's it. And in the next video, I'll be going over how to how to epoxy on the grips, real seat, how to make tape arbors, and then after that, um, we'll do how to how to wrap eyes, um, do the decorative wrapping, stickers, epoxy, all that stuff. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.